here is the final awaited book well second part a lot of people have asked for this part so i was gonna put all the comments on but uh i would have not been able to have enough so this takes a couple weeks after the dad bakugo xu it's date night baby and i do plan on making another part for this so let's get on Make sure Han is in bed at by 8. Bakugo spoke to the babysitter. He and you had been talking for some time, and you even sp sent a gift to Hana. It was an orca, and she loved it. She slept with it. Heck, she even brought it to school with her. He saw how much she loved you as well, and, though to, and thought to give it a try with himself. All right, Mr. Bakugo, when do you think he'll be back? The young lady asked. Her face was red. I'll be back hopefully hopefully by two hours. He spoke, putting on his shoes. All right, goodbye, she said. Wait, Daddy, can you please give this to her? Hannah asked, give, holding up a picture of the first day they met before he had found them. All right, I love. All right, I will love, he said, kissing her cheek. Bye, Daddy. She yelled out, and as he walked towards the car, your POV. Okay, I'm done. You said to yourself, all ready for the date you were about to have with the number two hero. Frankly, you didn't care about his hero title. All you cared about was about his little princess. She was adorable, but you did like him. He was nice at that. You didn't know how to describe, but you did love him. Oh shit, I need to get going. You said running to your car. Back with Bakugo. She's a minute late. Oh shit, there she is, never mind. I was about to say that they're wasting my time. Sorry, I know that you don't like people being late. She said, sitting at the table. Traffic, Bakugo asked, with his head resting on his. Oh. Sorry, with his head resting on his hand. Yeah, sorry. She looked away. Hey, at least you're not like shitty hair. Bakugo spoke. God, if you were like him, I would have just up and left. He said as she giggled at this. He was confu confused. A woman who has never talked. What the flip? confused woman who has who he was talked what what what, the, what did I write okay, F it. he didn't expect anyone to be like this especially for a woman who wasn't his classmate they always hated the fact that he was rude to everyone except for his daughter what she asked tilting her head a bit he stared at her a bit it's just that people especially women Get insulted by me, Bakugo spoke. Well, I peep. Well, I, people think, I'm weird for talking to animals. You spoke playing with the glass of water he got you. I had a classmate like that. He was quiet. You giggled, so he was a softy when alone. Sorry, but how is Hana? She asked. She's doing good. I said, she definitely didn't know what to say. This looked like our first date. Okay, to be real, I know this is your first date. Let's let's get what out of here. I hate doing what? I hate oh my god. I hate being in small places for long. Bakugyo said, getting up and walking. Yin followed behind. Wait, where are you going? Yin asked him. You What the hell? You're coming with me. He said, picking you up and using his quirk to go up in the air. OMG, what the hell are you doing? You yelled. We're going to mine. Don't have to worry about people, he said. You were shocked. Why was he taking you to his house? Then... Okay, that's when you noticed you guys were there. All right, come on, he said. 
walking towards the elevator. I'm sorry for the yawning. Waiting was kind of out quiet. He didn't talk at all. When the doors opened, he just walked towards the front door of his house. He opened it and heard a woman speak. Wait, was he with someone? I didn't expect him to be a... Here is your payment. It's the same as if you were here the whole time. He spoke. Oh, what? He doesn't have a wife? Oh, thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, and Mr. Bakugo? Hana is already asleep. He spoke. All right, get home safe. He spoke. Wow. He was nice towards her. Are you just going to sit there or... He asked. No, 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 I'm coming. You hurried up. What movie do you want to watch? Hmm. He asked. Hmm, a horror movie. You... Why the flip am I just messing things up? Hmm, a horror movie? You asked. Ha, I never heard of a girl wanting to watch a horror movie. He laughed, but quietly, since Hannah was asleep. Time skip. Because when I was writing this, I was lazy. (laughs) I love you guys, though. It had been a half an hour into the movie, and that's when both of you and Bakugo heard something. It was coming from Hannah's room. I'll go check on her. You said getting up. All right, don't take too long. He said, I won't. He giggled. He walked over towards her room. Hannah, are you? You're not going to say a word. A man spoke, covering your mouth. You saw Hannah in the corner. That's when the man covered, uncovered your mouth. Hey, Bakugo, she's fine, but doesn't want to sleep without me. You yelled down the hall. All right, I'll turn the TV off. He said his tone was different. That's when all went silent. That until Bakugo spoke again. I'm going to bed. I'll let you sleep with Hana, he said. That's when you heard Bakugo's door, bedroom door shut. Huh. <laughs> Wow, didn't expect the number two hero to be so stu- That's when the man was flung to the wall. That's when Hana ran towards me. Ha! Huh. The only one stupid here is you, Bakugo spoke. Already called the police stupid, Bakugo continued. And that's when you heard the cops open the door. Sorry, Dynamite, but we're coming in, they yelled. At the end of the hallway, Bakugo yelled. That's when they came down and took the man away. I also didn't know what to put here, so, uh, half on It's the next day. Yippee. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks for staying with her, Bakugo spoke. No, it's fine. You said, petting Hana's head. Apparently that dude came in after seeing you on a date, and, um, uh, let's just say he wanted to have fun with you. He spoke. <sighs> I should have expected that, you said, blankly. That's when Hannah stirred in her sleep. Mama, don't go, she said. I'm sorry to ask, but where is her mother, you asked. She left, didn't want her. He spoke. Oh, sorry, he spoke. I'm sorry, you were cut off. Don't be. If she did stay, Hannah would have been dead, he spoke. She didn't want to have kids. And I was fine with it. Once we found out, her mother didn't approve of an abortion, so we went through it all. He finished. I guess she sees you as one. Every girlfriend that I've had, she's hated. He spoke, sitting down next to you. Here, how Coco. He spoke. How about another date? On me. He giggled out. That would be nice. He smiled. Now that I read that all out, like, I don't really enjoy it. I might rewrite it if people also don't like how I messed up so many times in this book. I do have to apologize for all of that. But next, I'm going to give a little hint. Next is kind of a Bakugo X U thing. It's called Child, and this was, um... 
asked by someone and I decided to make it a little backstory for both Hana and Bakugo, but instead of Hana, it's you. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed though. Bye lovelies.